Ah. Oh, that was a good nap. Going on. Crap. Damn video player. Hold on. Okay, moving on. Um. Basically, from the last video, uh, I was basically just grinding my Pokemon. Uh, so. Samson's level 11 now. Those tackle tail whip water guns. Water sport. So useless water sport is. My uh, little pup, which I forgot to name, has lure tackle with a soof and bite. And my pat rat, which is named Tough. I was too lazy to load in past nine. My fall Pokemon is tackle, lure, bite, and bite. Let's move on with this contest crap. <laughs> Incidentally, if you check your Pokédex, you'll see how many Pokémon you've found and how many you've caught. I'm off to Akuma Town. The professor is waiting. The transceiver is ringing. Alright, I have to admit that four-way call through a watch is kind of badass. I don't admit that much. Yeah, Pokemon are just like right there, amazingly. I only need uh, freaking dust assholes. Oh my god, I want running shoes! What the fuck does a freaking Pokemon resemble a human? I, I want to this. Don't even talk about Jinx, that's not like, that's, that's a thing. Okay, this is basic shit, I'm not going to do this. So, why give me my rain shield already? And there's Professor Juniper. I don't. See you ever again, or joy, or uh, yep. A PC, because I can shove Pokemon to a PC. Well, you guys kind of sound like it. Oh, really? This Pokemon really is data. Positive. Oh yeah, they put Pokemon. The Pokemon inside the freaking um, Pokemon centers. Yeah. yeah. That gentleman over there will help you with this one. Ah, I don't like that. Sounds like a fucking pedophile. Oh yeah, if you haven't noticed, which I forgot to mention at the beginning of the video, I changed my. What emulator I'm using is still the same no catch GBA. I'm just using no catch zoomer, so it's like a better view, a bigger screen, you know what I'm talking about. So, alright. Strife and City. Go meet an inventor named Fennel. She's a friend of mine. Your friend, your female friend's name is Fennel. Really? Hmm. 
I just need Pokeballs. Yeah, buy buy ten Pokeballs. Apparently, yeah, I get to get fucking your ball for free. So I just got eleven Pokeballs. Fucking amazing, amazing. All right, let's move on. So, it sounds like something's going on in the plaza. Well, let's have a little look here. Gonna like try and ignore it. Alright, I've been doing it very well. Just gonna move. God damn it, Jaren! Oh, look at that team plasma. And I think his name is Gitas. Yeah, that was right. It's not Gahitas, not Gahitas. It's Gitas. I think. I just like pouncing on Gitas. Sounds better than me. Pokemon Liberation, amazing. I'm sure most of you believe that we humans and Pokemon are partners that have come to live together because we want and need each other. However, is that really the truth? Have you ever considered that perhaps we humans only assume that this is the truth? Pokemon are subject to the selfish commands of trainers. They get pushed around when they are partners. Partners at work. Can anyone say with confidence? Yikes, I don't know, no way. Who can say with confidence that there is no truth in what I am saying? Uh, I should have did that differently. Now, ladies and gentlemen, Pokemon are different from humans. They are living beings that contain unknown potential. They are living beings from whom we humans have much to learn. Tell me, what is our responsibility toward these wonderful beings called Pokemon? What could it be, liberation? That's right, we must liberate the Pokemon. Then, and only then, will humans and Pokemon truly be equals. Everyone, I end my words here today by imploring you to consider the relationship between the people and Pokemon. And the correct way to proceed is to still appreciate your attention. The hell's the point of that formation? Your back is like. Oh, okay. Your side's still now. Exposed. About that speech. About that speech. What do you think we should do? Liberate Pokemon? That's not even possible. Oh, wow. And it was in the middle of that. Your Pokemon. Just now, it was saying. Yeah, slow down, you talk too fast. What's this about Pokemon talking? That's an odd thing to say. Yes, they're talking. Oh. Then you two can't hear it either. How sad. My name is Anne. My name is Cherry, and this is Raven. We were asked to complete the Pokedex, and we le just left on our journey. Now, main goal is to become the champion, though. The Pokedex, huh? So, you're going to find many, many Pokemon Pokeballs for that, then. How much you hear too? I can't help wondering. Are Pokemon really happy that way? Well, Raven, is it? Let me hear your Pokemon's voice again. I love End Voice! I'm the wow, one I love End. Look at that sense! It's such a badass end. I love End's battle music. That's really good. It's end soon, so let me get rid of that thing. Well, I think it's low level compared to Samson. Samson, water cut! <laughs> they took two hits. Leave for Samson. And now Samson's level 12. Never expected to hear Pokemon say such things. As long as Pokemon can find the Pokemon's, Pokemon will never become perfect beings. I have to change the world for Pokemon because of my friends. <laughs> but I'm not going to worry about it. Trainers and Pokemon help each other out. Listen, I'm going on ahead. I want to battle the gym leader in the next town, Strike and City. Aim to battle gym leader after gym leader. That's the best way for a trainer to become stronger. To challenge the gym leaders in each area. Hi, Charon! Let me save here. The video's going to end in like six seconds. Two, one.